your weather rate certified most accurate forecast. Fox 54 weather. Well, not a bad day, especially here at Fox 54. We got to no, we got go food. out and grill. Yeah, that was kind of nice. Our GM made food for us, so that was that was kind of nice. But otherwise, yeah. it was cloudy, and I personally think he was lucky because every other time we've had grilled out food this year, um, it has been very sunny and very hot. And yeah. the the one time he he cooks the food, it is cloudy and not all that hot. So he brought on the luck, I suppose. He did. I think he should come more often because then when we cook out, it won't be it won't be disgustingly hot. And it wasn't disgustingly hot this afternoon across the Tennessee Valley. Uh, temperatures only climbed into the mid and upper 80s. We saw 85 Athens indicator. It's not showing up for Huntsville for some unknown reason, uh, but they actually saw a high temperature this afternoon of 83 degrees. 81 A. Rabin Albertville Coleman saw 82. Florence saw a high temperature this afternoon of 86 degrees. Another below average day in the Tennessee Valley. The number of consecutive days where we've been below average nine. We have seen nine consecutive days where the high temperature was below average. Average for this time of year right around 90 or 91 degrees. The coolest day we've seen so far this month was August 17th where the official high temperature at the Huntsville International Airport was just 80 degrees. A rinse and repeat process as we head into the overnight. A little bit of patchy dense fog is liable across the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures dropping into the mid and upper 60s. I've got a low right around 68 degrees. And that's about where we're going to be when the kids get on the school bus tomorrow morning. A uh, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Most folks probably going to be dry, but better safe than sorry. Send the kids out the door with an umbrella, maybe some sort of a rain jacket just in case. They happen to be the unlucky group that has to deal with a little bit of rain. 79 by the time we get to the lunch hour recess. Temperatures climbing into the low and mid 80s. Once again, tomorrow afternoon looks like we'll finish the day right around 86. Isolated showers and thunderstorms going to be in the forecast once again through the heart of Thursday afternoon and even as we head into Thursday evening. Rinse and repeat that process as we head into Friday, though temperatures might actually be a little bit higher, mid and upper 80s as opposed to the low and mid 80s, making a solid run at 90 degrees on Friday. It looks like many of us are going to fall just short, but the opportunity for isolated, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms is once again going to be in the forecast. Friday night football doesn't look half bad, most probably going to end up being dry. 82 by 7, 80 by 8, 78 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock on Friday. Friday evening. Not a whole lot to complain about in the temperature department. As a matter of fact, we should consider ourselves uh, quite lucky to get temperatures this low in the early weeks of high school football. Radar not picking up on a whole lot of activity this evening. We saw a couple of isolated, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. We are now quiet, and I'm confident that we're going to stay quiet as we head into the overnight. All thanks to this boundary that continues to sit south of the Tennessee Valley, keeping the most widespread precipitation across central and south Alabama, beginning to move into Georgia at this point. Finally drying out across the state of Mississippi. Good thing, too. I saw some pictures out of Jackson, Mississippi this afternoon, surrounding areas. They got a lot of rain, dealing with some real flooding there. Uh, over near Jackson. Other miscellaneous opportunities for rain in the forecast as we finish off the work week a little drier as we head into the weekend. Now we're looking beyond the seven-day forecast, creeping really close to Labor Day weekend at this point, about a 30 to 40 percent chance at seeing above average precipitation, which is just a smidge unusual when you consider the fact that we're talking about one of our driest periods in the calendar year. That is August, September, and then eventually October. 88 on Friday, a pair of 91s both Saturday and Sunday. 90 degrees on Monday, mid and upper 80s through Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Kanisha.